Well, good afternoon. Uh, brickwork. Um, our unit for today is actually calculating all the bricks for the home. And uh, we've got a couple of sections about that. Then when we actually finish it, uh, we also fill out the spreadsheet. So I guess we should look at uh, figures one to eight uh, of our uh, specification. And so number one, check the brickwork specifications, uh, calculate the external dimensions of the house, which will be the uh, one of the, I think that's the second thing we do. The first thing we do is the windows. Um, consult section drawing to find the height of the walls and the external length of the walls. Calculate gables and columns. Um, and I've drawn a sheet up for that so you guys can see that. Now, standard brick 230 by 110 by 76, uh, including then adding a perp metal or a bed joint, means that we end up with 48 bricks per square meter. Now, there are some extra charges uh, in regards to the length of the seals, sand, cement, lime, brick ties and scaffold but we have scaffold in another section the uh, we find the labor per thousand bricks and back when this was written uh some bright spark decided that he'd get everyone to search and find rates but uh very quickly i found out that that was actually uh, somewhat futile because uh, people didn't know exactly what we needed and so we we're all over the shop so uh, eight is really not something that we need to look at. Now, another thing that's actually happening because I'm recording that down here where we have an actual estimated cost brickwork. And if we look over there, uh, it's only really it's been closed off. Um, and I'm actually doing new videos all the way through uh, in preparation for some fellow retiring in the future and i want everyone to have as much information as they can and then whoever will be looking after the course will be able to follow along and add their own uh, expertise into the unit all right so um just a very quick uh next week we're doing rendering solid plastering and we're also actually going to be doing roof plumbing okay so both of those are quite interesting little subjects and that's another one and uh, then following on from that we start to do a little bit on windows and doors and which is not really a big deal because most of that is covered and then suddenly we start getting towards plasterboard and those sorts of things and probably you know plasterboard painting is the biggest part at this other end of the section all right so uh, first of all without any ado we'll actually come up over here and we'll open up the um, the takeoff and the first thing that we actually really need to do and i should have actually done this beforehand but uh, i didn't um is we need to actually know how much area for windows and doors. Now, all of these sizes are found on the plan set. Okay, so on our actual set of plans is actually this um, uh, this amount of uh, size. So 2.087 uh, by 1.210. Now, basically 1800 by 1800. Now, what we need to do, and I'm only going to do um, two or three of these, and then basically you guys can actually do the rest. And uh, over the years, I've done sort of various little uh, amounts of this. And so it's pretty easy. Now, really, probably a better option here is to actually get rid of the eight and just keep two decimal places 3.25 is more than adequate and then we can actually go right through to here um, again the same thing 
so I'll get rid of the four all right because that's a bit of a dead drop uh, kick of a thing and uh, so on and so forth now what will actually happen around that of course is we'll end up with a whole heap of sizes and so your uh, takeoff needs to have these things done okay so um, and then finally what we will uh, by the time we actually finish this and we've also got a garage door uh, down here uh, okay the garage door is 3.6 wide by 2.4 high so you got 8.64 um, square meters and uh, so on and so forth so we can actually go through to there now the reality is if i go like so and i actually make that red okay um, you should end up somewhere around about that okay 37.93 you know look if you're point one out don't uh, fret or worry i mean the fact is you if we were adding up all these smaller uh, to the fourth decimal place it does throw things all over the shop now the other factor that we need to really think about is the size of the brickwork and uh, so this is actually a minus figure so this will actually be taken off of the uh, the sheet and so what i'm going to do here is just basically go through and i'll click that back to black okay so the west elevation we know that it's actually 10 meters and 69 now the east elevation has three uh, uh, specific amounts and so i can just go like so and there you can see it six meters and nine uh, 4170 and it's also got a little tiny return 1435 1.435 and so we've got a reasonable sort of amount of area that we need to actually calculate now north elevation uh, obviously the opposite of south and uh, we've got 13 meters 675 so that's right up the very top of the plan okay and then to get to the bottom of the plan we've actually got these here and without these this is not going to actually help us that much so go through to there like that and what we basically now have is all the dimensions are right around the actual uh, area of the uh, brickwork now two meters 830 how that actually calculates is yes the wall height is 2700 but the brickwork is actually into a rather large um, rebate and that rebate is 130 mil deep so therefore we actually come up with 2830 some places that will be rebated some places it won't be and but to be safe we've actually done the whole lot so once you actually do those you can just get onto your sheet and you should end up with a heap of figures like so and if we get down to here all right this will be a red total now remember everything I, when i say red totals the, that's the total that will be going into your uh, spreadsheet all right now we've got two little areas here we've got actually um an area of 1500 high by 2500 for the large gable for the small gable we've got 1490 by one meter uh and that little 1490 is a little bit suspect so what i want to do now is right at this very moment going to drag up another another word doc and i'm going to actually minimize it so i can chuck it over here and you can actually see oops i need to actually move the uh how do i do this let's have a look there okay all right um so how do we actually calculate um the amount of bricks for a brick gable and so i've thought that the best thing that I could do is to actually draw this up, which took me a little bit using insert and triangles and shaping the triangles. And so, um, first of all, 
garage band, five meters. Okay, half span, all right, thinking like a roof, 2.5 meters, 2,500. Okay, the formula for calculating the rise, which is from here to here, okay, tan 30 by half span. And you end up with a figure of 1.443. We round that up to 1.5. So we have 1.5 and then we have 2,500. So you can see that there, 2,500 by 1.5 gives you a figure of 3.75 square meters. All right, number of bricks per square meter, 48, which we talked about earlier. So now 3.75 by 48, and you end up with 180 bricks. And because we've formed a rectangle, all right, all we've done is grab this and, and flipped it over and put it in here. And so that's drop dead easy rather than actually doing two distinct calculations uh, to actually work out the square area. Now, exactly the same uh, process for the small gable. The span is actually 2760, half span is 1380, uh, tan 30 by half span equals 796. Some people have actually put in last night 0.8, uh, which is fine, and all I did in previous times is said, oh, we'll just round it up to a metre to make sure we have enough. So by the time we uh, times uh, 1380 by one metre, we get 1.38 square metres, times that by 48, and there, there's the formula, and we end up with 66 bricks. Um, so pretty easy to actually work out the area. And so what we're really looking for is, uh, now I don't know why this is actually, yep, 1.5. So that one, we can just basically uh, hit it with a, uh, a bit of color. Okay, and you've got 3.75. Somebody stole my word doc. Okay, over here. All right, slightly difference, 1490, but uh, I'm more than happy for you to just do 1500. And we'll just go over here like so. And, okay, 1.490. All right. So when we actually look at the total gable area, come through and hit it with the uh, red. And we've got 5.24 um, square metres. Now, the reason that we need that as a red total, um, this is great. We know this and we do need these sizes uh, for some of our calcs. But the reality is uh, in the spreadsheet, it asks all sorts of different ways to uh, calculate uh, the work. Now, the other document that um, I need to show you, and I'm scrolling right down, is here is a very skillfully uh, drawn uh, column. Okay, I just use the uh, insert a line and actually free-handed approximately 470 by 470. It's not perfect by any means. And then I came in 110 this side, 110 this side. I didn't measure it, I just ju uh, judged it. And so if we were to look at this column, we have in the form of bricks, one, two, three, four, five, six bricks. So that's six bricks per course. All right, so here it is here. Count the bricks, six of per course. Now the height of the column, we'll just say that it's two meters, 830. We divide that by 86, that's 76 for the brick, 10 mil for the, per, uh, for the bed joint, and we end up with 32.9 courses. So we round that up to 33, and I suppose I should have put 33 courses. So 33 by six, is 198 so we'll just round it up to 200 now there are two pairs and so we end up with a total amount of bricks being 400 bricks okay
Now, there's another method that people might use, and I thought I should actually put it here. Uh, why can't we just say 2830 by 470 by 4? Okay, now there's a problem with this, So, and here it is. 2830 by 470 by 2 is 2.66. Um, if I was to act, oh, sorry, here, uh, 2830 by 470 by 4 gives you 5.32 metres squared. Um, then we actually times that 5.32 by 48. We end up with 255 bricks times that by 2, 510 bricks versus 400 bricks. So we actually have 110 bricks too many. Um, and so... Um, it's not going to break the bank, but the reality is it's more than what you need. Um, to calc this column by area, we need to actually understand that uh, when you actually work out a 470, like this one here, and you're picking up two bricks, then when you actually do the same here, you're adding another brick. You're counting it twice. So what we do is 2830 by 470 by 2 so that's this side and that side and we get 2.66 square meters okay now 2830 by 250 how do we get 250 uh brickwork is 230 the brick is 230 240 10 mil bed joint 10 mil bed joint 250 and we end up with 1.41 now when we add these two together we get 4.07 by 2 is 8.14 times 48, and we end up with 390 bricks. So uh, obviously, our little area here like this is, uh, we added, remember here, 198, and we rounded it up to 200. So we have four bricks more, and that's where that's probably come in. So there's the two different methods that you could actually use. And um, it's like everything, uh, the devil's in the detail. Uh, normally what I do, uh, I actually draw this up on the board, which I did last night. And then I thought, oh, bugger, I didn't take a picture. Of course, I could have put a picture up there and, and you would have actually seen it. All right. So here we have it over there. All right. We'll just minimize our secondary word document. Uh, we've got 2830 by 450 by, by peers, and you can go through like so and go like that. And all right, so 10.19. Okay, so that's really important. All right, and this is one that we need to actually have a look at. So if we were to look at the number of bricks, that could be a little bit of a problem. So if I actually go back was five something, just to double check. Okay, here it is here. All right, so uh, when I actually looked at that, we've got 10.19. So let's do a little bit of a calc. And I'll do that with my uh, calculator. All right, up it will come. Clear that. 10.19. Okay. By 48. Okay. It's our 489. So we're about, you know, there's 400. So that's a little bit big. All right. So because they've actually done a square area. So what we should actually put into here is 2830 by 450 in a square area. But I would actually like to say that put this little bit here and go. Take this, okay, and just copy it, put it here. I'm sure it'll do it nicely for me. All right, 33, 6, 109, say 200, and then over here, okay, 400 bricks. All right, okay, so can you see how easy it is to actually, um, to actually get a way bigger figure if we were doing it square meters. All right, so over here, we've actually got 
some sizes of windows. So what I would like to do is, and you can do this a variety of ways, but these are our window sizes. I'm going to actually use the snip tool just so I can hang it out to, uh, up on the screen. And I'm just going to go, all right, just like that. And there it is over there. And then I'm going to scroll down here. Okay, and so the first thing we've got to do here is actually look at our widths, okay? And they should be like so. So you can do this at home with your, your oops, that's wrong. Backspace, I don't know what I did there. Control Z, hang on. Cancel. Good thing I did that. All right, so what I should have done is I've got that there, over here, and go like that. Oh, didn't even do that. Maybe I haven't even got this filled out. No. All right, well, that's good. So let's bring up the uh, the snip image over here. So the first uh, window two, and I'm going to have to actually drag this off the screen so that I can compete with it. All right, and so first of all, all right, we need to put in 1.210, 1.210, and this is all the widths, okay? So we're not actually looking at a total area as such. We're actually looking for uh, the length of the entire uh, window, so the width of the window. So 1.810, 1.810, uh, over here, Window, th uh, okay, so that's window two, five. Oh, two is 1810. That's the way to get caught. 1.810. Okay, window five is another 1810. Window six is another 1810. Okay, and then what we're going to do once we've calculated all of those, we've got point, <coughs> excuse me, okay, point 0.730, point 0.730, and then finally window 11, another 18.10, so 1.810. Okay, so we can actually calc that. Some of the smart guys at the uh, the night class, they've actually got up an Excel calculator and they're doing all of those. So we've got 1810, 1.810 by 4 plus 1.46, 1.46. And we end up about 8.7 lineal metres. Now, I don't know if that's actually there. So we'll just see, should be around about 8.7. All right, if we look over here, 8.7. Okay, and then what we need to do with that 8.7, and let's grab our calculator. Okay, and we just go 8.7 divide point eight six equals okay 101 okay so there it is there so 101.16 101.8 so there you are so that's the amount of bricks for all of the seals okay so there's windows and that's that's really crucial for us and then over here i'm going to i don't know why but i've got a uh, just insert uh, hang on, insert row above. I want to actually start off with a uh, blue row above. It's a pain in the butt, actually. Word, but there you go. We just have to work our way one more, and we'll just have a heading. All right. Okay. All right. Okay, so what we have here 
is a whole heap of calculations that we need to actually put in. So first of all, we need to actually put in the total brickwork areas, okay? Now we actually know that, and so straight up the top here, 154.56. So I'm just gonna go in here, 154.56, okay? Uh, now, the other area that we've got to do here is a reduction area. So we can actually put that in. Uh, so that's lineal area, okay? And so maybe I should, and I don't know how far this has ever been filled out. We'll just see. Might save me some typing. And we'll go like so. All right. So there you go, 154.57. So that's the brickwork area. Here's the gable. Here's the piers. Now that, that has to change. Okay, so let's go like that because we actually worked out um, 400 bricks. Was that right? Let's go back up just to double check. 400. All right, for piers. So let's go 400. Divide 48, and we end up with 8.3. All right, so what should be there it should be 10.19. It should be, whoop. Eight point three. So we have eight point three square meters there. Now what I should do now is actually work on this uh, figure. And so one fifty four point five six plus five point two four plus eight point three and we end up with one hundred and sixty eight point one. So it's a marginal sort of difference. If we went there and said that's 168, and instead of actually having 997, we just put one there. There we go. Now, our windows and doors area is at 37.93. Let's have a look. Okay, 37.93. Uh, so um, what we can actually do, um, 168.1 minus, okay, 37.93 and we end up with 130.17 so 130.17 all right so 17 okay so now that we've actually got those all right, and this is where it becomes, I'm going to change that so that somebody doesn't actually uh, have a look at this. So 168.1, get rid of that one, delete, okay. Now, it's 37.93. Now, the reason that's 29.293 is it doesn't have the carport in it. So, a minute, I don't want that. All right, and I want to put in here 37.93. 37.93. All right, okay, so there's our equal areas. Now, we're going to have to actually uh, change that a bit. I'll bet you this will be different. So, let's do it. Grab your calculators 130.17 by 48 equals and you get six thousand two hundred and forty eight one six so six two four eight point one six okay that's your bricks now we already know we had a hundred and one point one eight bricks okay so we need to actually add those two together so let's let's do that all right, so 6248.16 plus 101.18. Okay. All right, so we've got a great figure there equals. 
All right, six six three four nine. Okay, six three four nine, and ten percent is six thirty four point nine. So uh, ten percent six thirty four point nine. Six thirty four point nine zero. Okay, all right. So now we can add up all of those totals to come up with our final amount of bricks which then makes a bit of difference for all our calcs. So six to, let's do a, um, there he is there. Okay. Six, two, four, eight, point one, six, plus 101.18, plus 634.9. Point nine plus, and we end up with six nine eight four two four. So let's hey, where did you go? All right, let's bring up my calculator again. All right, six nine eight four, six nine eight four point two nine. I think it was. All right, let's just have a look at that. Two four. Now we're not going to worry about the two four, so we get rid of that. All right, six nine eight four. Now, if we were actually looking at our total amount of bricks, okay, then what we would actually do is actually say, rightio, we need seven thousand bricks. So first of all, I'll actually go here, and I want to actually insert row above, okay. And over here, I'm going to change the color. Wouldn't be cricket without that, would it? All right, so I'm just going to make it no color. Oh, it didn't even do that for me. All right, so 7,000 bricks. Okay, so we can actually go through that and I'll just make that a red total. Okay, so this is definitely uh, where we need that. And so that is all our calcs. Now, this is really important because this figure is only going to be used in quite a few areas. So let's actually go down to here. So we've actually got five brick toes per square meter of wall area. Now the wall area is 130.17, so we'll just put 130, okay? And what have we got here? I've probably got another figure under here. Let's have a look. So 130, and I had 130 here. I'm gonna actually get rid of all that and go 130. So we've got 130 by five. Okay, and we end up with 650. Let's see what I had before. All right, 652. So I think we'll just go 650. Okay, and over here, same thing. I'll just delete that and just put 650. All right, space. Okay, so brick ties, we need 650. Um, Brick supply, 7,000. All right, now there's a couple of little calculations here that if we were going to buy um, specialist sand, uh, maybe for a color or anything like that, um, six bags of, uh, of brick sand per 1,000 bricks. So uh, seven, okay, whoops, here we go again. All right, let's do that. Seven five forty. So it's really seven. So just get rid of that bit. Seven by six. Okay, and over here, I don't know if that's what that is. Let's have a look. It needs to be red. Okay, that's way over. 
Seven sixes are what? 42. All right, so there we go. So 42 bags of sand. Would we buy uh, sand, go to Bunnings and try to buy a bag of sand and see how much they actually charge? Uh, a little bit like a wounded buffalo. Okay. Um, a couple of years ago, one of our more inquiring students, and obviously um, by this calculation, um, he came up with this formula. And I think it came from uh, blocklayer.com. And what it is, is actually a calculator to work out the amount of sand mortar uh, in your actual mortar joint. So the formula is 12 joints by one meter by brick width by 10 mil. Okay, so there it is there. And the answer for that is there. Then what we would actually do is go down to there and put in the total square area of our bricks okay now in our case when this was done we need to actually go right up to here and say well it's 130.17 it's not 168 it's 130.17 so let's go over here and uh, put 130.17 okay and i'll just grab my calculator again chuck it over here all right and go 130.17 i okay and here we go point zero zero one three two equals okay 1.718 that'll be quite far one okay and that's what that should be let's bring back this here 1.718 that'd be fine and we'll do exactly the same here 1.718 Okay. Now, are we going to use that? Not at all. It's a nice to know. Okay. So um, you could, t if you wanted to work out colorized uh, uh, sand or anything like that, you could actually do use this formula. And uh, funny story, um, one of my um, uh, Chinese students uh, who was a, a definitely an engineer was just uh, when we used to do this, we just went 10 um, times. And then so those other two to make it up to 12 are actually also the perps as well as the bed joints. And because I didn't have there, he, he wanted to shoot me. So that was, yep, she was pretty hot that night. Uh, and in my flippant fashion, I said, it's just to show you what you can actually do with mathematics. All right, um, this is what we would normally do to work out for the uh, brick sand for an entire job. So first of all, cubic meters of, of actual sand. OK, the formula is total bricks. So we've got 7,000. Oops, here we go again. OK, so it's because I've actually filled it in with red. I've got to get rid of that, and I'm going to get rid of the. Uh, hang on. Okay. All right. So let's have a look. So seven by zero point six five, and we should end up. Yep, four point five five. All right. So. Over here, we'll just get rid of this little bit here because I guarantee you it'll be wrong. Four point. Sorry, should have been there. 4.55. Um, again, we've got that. 4.55. And then what we're going to do here is round this up to 5. Okay. And I have no idea why I got a little four there. That was a bit bad. All right. 
So that is the figure that we'll use for brick sand. Now this is fairly simple to go uh, through the ways. And so again, uh, total bricks, okay, we know that it's actually uh, 7,000. So we, we can just go seven, okay. And the amount of line bags that we're gonna use is seven line bags, okay. So these all go into our takeoff. Now, for our Portland Grey Cement, and one of the students uh, asked last night, he said, what's the difference between lime and uh, Portland Grey Cement? Now, lime is actually like a liquefier. And so when it's actually mixed up in the mortar, it makes the mortar flow much easier. And uh, it's a very vital part of the mortar bed. So um, eight bags of 20 kilo cement per 1,000 bricks. Okay, so we already know that the total bricks is 7,000. Okay, so we can put it here. Again, let's see what I've got. I'll probably have to wipe out that and go like that. And the first thing I've got to go here, 7. I don't know why that's doing that. Let's have a look. Okay, 7,000. So seven eights okay 56 i don't know why it's doing that but anyhow all right oh all right okay so 56 bags and we can actually just go here in front of it five six a space so for portland gray cement 56 bags and uh, i told the students about a couple of uh, brickies who uh, were doing the job down in counter bay one of the ones that i when i first started subcontracting and um, they decided that they'd earn themselves a little bit of um, beer money piss money and so what they were doing was um, selling bags of cement at the pub to fund uh, a few beers. Now, the owner was very sus about these actual tradesmen, uh, and I'll use a loose term tradesman. And uh, basically what he did, he waited till they finished work one day, he grabbed a sample of the mortar that they'd actually tipped out of their barrows and it's all just sitting there, not over wet or anything like this. It was just like plonked out and you got a, just a, a, a bit of the mortar mix. Uh, took it into a chemist in town, got it analysed, and 50% of the actual uh, cement content that was supposed to be in the uh, mortar was missing. Um, straight away, contacted the builder um, and also the builder's licensing board, and the outcome of that was there was over 32,000 bricks that had been laid, and they all had to be raked out to a depth of uh, 40 mil with a raking tool which was really easy because the mortar was substandard and then it had to be repointed by hand took a guy two months cost thousands um, and these are the types of stupid things that some tradies do uh, don't ever get to trapped into that um, whenever you do your stuff make sure you're squeaky clean because at the end of the day, okay, your reputation matters. It should matter to you, and uh, it's the most vital thing in the world, okay? Um, it's just critical, all right? And uh, that's one of those. All right, acid wash face brickwork. Now, it is the best method to ensuring that you've got an even um, wall texture and uh, cleanliness and so what we need to do we go right back up to here and we need to look in our um, overall sheet over there and the total amount of bricks is 130.17 square meters okay so down we go okay and we put straight over here 130.17 and again 
do not know what is going on with that. All right, and over here, again, the same thing, 130.17, uh, very painful. Uh, let's have a look, red, okay. So that goes into our takeoff. So it's a red total. All right, homework for you guys at home. All right, so I'm going to drag over the snip tool over here. These are all the window sizes. These here are the DPC black plastic that needs to actually go around the entire walls. Now, you can do this a couple of ways. Um, I know that roof wise, you know, it's around about uh, 55 to 60, let's, let's just say 55 lineal meters of external wall face. Now we know that because when we worked out the wall frames, that actually gave that, uh, there was uh, 55 or 60 in uh, external. So you can go back to your wall frames and put there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go in here and say, radio, uh, let's just see what we put in. Okay, 56. So, you know, uh, I don't, I don't mind. Now, here we go. Boy, it's a lemon today battling me. All right, 56 lineal meters, that's good enough. Now, the original um, person who did this unit, and I don't know if there's anything in here, so we'll, we'll just see. Um, okay. That's how that all came from. All the length of all the walls to get you that. Okay. So uh, that's critical. And you can then go through and you work out your total. Now, the other thing is internal walls. Same deal. And I'm going to do those because uh, for uh, time. And we go through there. There's all the actual internal walls all the way through. Uh, I have no idea how much this was. So let's have a look and we'll actually turn it to red. Okay, 47, which sounds about right. And so you've got uh, 47. I would actually get rid of that. Doesn't really matter. Plastic's pretty cheap. So 47 lineal meters, 56 lineal meters. Okay, for external walls. Now, uh, window damp proof, what is that? So what we need to actually think about, and I'm going to do one, you guys are going to do the rest. So bring up my snip tool over here. So window two, 1810 by 1810. So what that actually means is um, when we put a window into position in a brick veneer home, we need to uh, have a layer of DPC plastic that stretches from the edge of the window up past the top of the window by 150 mil and past the bottom of the window by 150 mil. So that would mean that we would actually have to add 300 to each one of these measurements. So let's just say that 1800 plus three 2.1 so i'm just going to put 2.1 okay now this is two sides all right so you've got two two styles and two and this is 1800 by 1800 so you're going to actually have 2.1 by four okay okay which is 8.4 now i don't know what i've got here so we'll just see what uh, eventuates that's 6.3 that's not correct because we need to actually think about um, let's have a look at our uh, snip image again all right 1800 by 1800 so 18 plus 3 okay 2.1 and so you've got two styles of the 2.1 two heads that are 2.1 so uh, grabbing our calculator Okay, clear, 2.1 by 4 equals 8.4. So let's have a look at that. 
it had me a bit worried then. I thought, wow, where did that come from? So these are the sorts of things that can happen in a class. So now all I'm going to do uh, over there, I think this is probably a, a good thing for you to do, is actually put in there how you got your cow there to there, all right, for each one of these. So if I go back to my snip image, all right, and we're looking at window five, five is 1540 plus 300. 15, 16, 17, so let's just say 1900. And so you would actually go 1.5 okay and that would be by two because there's two different sizes here okay 1.9.2 plus let's go back to our snip image all right we've got 1810 so we're back to a 2.1 so we can actually go here 2.1 uh by two okay and that is where that comes from so now grabbing our calculator Let's bring it up again. Okay, you've got 1.9 by 2. All right, so 1.9 by 2. Okay, memory plus. All right, we've got 2.1 by 2, memory plus, and then memory recall. Oh, that didn't work out too good with that. 15.96 now i'm going to do it the old-fashioned way just to make sure what i would actually do is actually go 2.1 plus 1.9 by 2 2.1 2 plus 1.9 i've got 5.9 so something's not right there all right so let's over here clear it 5.9 all right and again now both of these are black totals there they are there all right so you can do the rest but there you can see the uh the working out and we can just doesn't matter we'll just bring it up to here as long as you can see what that is so 1.9 by 2 2.1 by 2 all right, and we're going to end up with 5.9. All right, the other ones that you've got with all that, okay, is Windows 6, uh, 9, 10, and 11, and then you end up with a subtotal here. Now, uh, below here is actually all the subtotals this one, this one, that one, and then what you're looking for is this figure because that is the one that is actually going to go into the spreadsheet. Now, I believe that this will be wrong. So I'm just going to put it there. And it says about 139 lineal meters. So let's just see, after you've done all that, how close you get to that, whether that's accurate or not. Uh, because in light of what I got up here, uh, it may not be. Okay. Um, now, we only have three other subsections to fill out. First of all, um, we've actually got galvanized lintels. Now, these are uh, galvanized lintels that support the, the uh, brickwork above the windows. So we go back to our snip image again. There's our window size. I'm gonna just drag it up here a bit. And so window two, and so I think what I'm going to do here is just go. And what's a pain is it just sort of gets rid of all that, but that's okay. Um, so left-hand side, all the heights. Right-hand side, all the widths. Okay, so window two, we're going to actually have 1810, and we're going to go 2.1. Okay, and again, all right, we'll just go to there. All right, 2.1. Bring up our snip image again. Window 5, what have we got for 5? 18.10, again, 2.1. So we can just basically 2.1. I have no idea why this is doing this to me, but there you go. 
All right, I think it's because I'm doing a video. Windows 6, all right, again, 1810. So we just basically over here, 2.1, right click. Okay, now window 9 is a different kettle of fish. It's only 730. Um, and so adding 300 to that, um, you're going to be actually a meter and 30. So we'll, we'll just say that it's actually 1.1 or something like that. So 1.1. And we've also got window 10 is 1.1. So highlight both of those and go black. There it is there. And window 11 is another 2.1 and the reason it's 2.1 again it's 1800 i'll bring up the snip image so we can confirm it so window 11 1810 so now we can actually add those all up which i will do and so 2.1 plus 2 i prefer one two three four at 2.1 so that's 8.4, um, 9.5, 10.6. Okay. Uh, so we should be something like that. Let's just see. Who knows? 490 lineal meters would be 4.9, I think. That's nowhere near it. All right. So it should be 2, 4, 6, 8. 9, 10, right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10.6, right, so 10.6 lineal meters of galvanized, um, get what they, uh, one brand name is actually gal lintels, now we've also got some little doors in here, uh, window 1, 3, 4 and 7, I don't know if I've got window 1, oh yes I do, Okay, so again, we've got 1200 plus 300, so this is a 1.5. Okay, uh, over there, window three, okay, is a 900, so that's going to be uh, so let's do this one. Uh, first of all, I'll get rid of the underlying stuff that's behind here, delete now 1.5. So just do that one. Black. Okay. Let's bring this up again. Three. Okay. So that was win now window one was 12, 10, 1.5. Yep. Uh, window three is 900 plus three, 1.2. And we've actually got, let's have a look at four. A deleted. Oh, that's a good one. All right. So this one, 1 1.2. Okay, and so window four, we just leave blank. All right, let's have a look at our last one. Window seven, 1810. So we know that that's going to be a 2.1. So we just go there, 2.1. I just highlight, right click, and over there. All right, so 2.1, 3.3. 4.3, um, 5, 6, 7, 8, 4, uh, 2, 3, 4.8, so 4.8, yeah, I bet you there's something, actually I'll get rid of that and go 4.8 lineal meters, it's a red total, okay, so over here like so all right so we get to the place that we were really looking for uh what i should do also here space lm okay and then finally all right we've got a 250 by 200 t-bar which is a heavy little mother uh 3.9 in width okay the opening of the garage is 3600 plus 339. So what we should be able to go here like that pretty safely and say 
that that is actually 3.9 and then over here all right in red ta-da okay rightio so so that is all about brickwork and so that's that's really um uh, good to see now the next thing that we need to look at is um, our spreadsheet and so your job will be to fill that out now last night uh, everybody went through this exactly um, how I've just gone through this with you and then they filled out the spreadsheet and it took six minutes okay so first of all here it is here so you get up your spreadsheet we know that we've actually got 7,000 bricks so we just put a seven in and this is where a little bit of memory will come in press enter so we're already up to 15 grand uh, labor per lineal meters okay so what was the lineal meters of um, the seal bricks so what we would do is bring out our word doc again okay that one there, I'm going to minimize it and so that we can actually see through here. And we'll have to turn this on and off uh, because it obscures the, the headings. Oh, yeah, I might be able to do it there like that. Okay, so the next thing we're looking for is what is the lineal meters of the sill bricks? Okay, so let's go right up to uh, our subtotal okay and there is somewhere there should be actually brickwork area brickwork we'll have to go right up to windowsill brickwork all right we've got actually 8.7 lineal meters okay so if we've got 8.7 we're just going to put nine okay and there it is there all right labor to lay the brick piers how many piers do we have two and each of those piers is going to cost $805. So just two straight into there like so. All right, brick up the gable end. How many square meters for our gable ends? All right, so we'll come up with our word doc again. Okay, and let's have a look because we're not far away from that. When we actually looked out of our gable ends, there it is there, 5.24. So straight over here 5.24 and that is actually uh the, the uh, to brick up the gable end now sheriff ties sheriff ties are a brick tie that actually has a right hand angle bend on it and it, it's a face fit onto the areas on a stud wall that have bracing panels on them okay so which you can allow for one box and so we'll just go in here and go one can't buy half a box these days all right can anyone remember how much lime uh, we had seven bags okay that was pretty simple now the sand notice nothing there don't worry about it okay now brick sand uh 35 a ton and there are five of them so we just basically go into it like so all right portland gray cement uh was that seven seven eighths of 56 so basically 56 um damp proof you have to work that out and then put that into here acid wash 130 i think it was i'm going to put 130 don't copy this actually look at your own and fill it out now t-bars oh okay um, you can add up both of the uh, galvanized lintels and put those to there. They're, they're not cheap, 2120 a lineal meter. And then after all, we then have actually brick vents. Now, they're $42.30 each and they're two meters apart. So if the entire wall is 55 meters or 56, I think we worked out, if we went 56 divide by two, right, it's 25 plus three, that's 28. Then all we would do through here is put in 28. Okay, uh, brick ties per uh, 500 
and I think we're going to get a thousand of those. So we just put in two and enter. You need to actually fill these last ones in and don't worry about that one. Okay, um, so that's today. Um, so that's brickwork. So next week we're going to be working um, with um, what we call coins, which is a plaster uh, a plaster covering around the windows, around 150 to 200 mil wide, and also returns into the reveal of the window. Also, it renders over the top of the sill bricks. And so we need to actually calculate all of those. After we've done that, uh, we will be actually working out um, the roofine and downpipes and everything like that for the entire uh, entire home. So they will be the two things that we're doing next week. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed that. Follow it through. Uh, make sure that you are filling in the other sections that we've completed and uh, filling out your Excel sheet because we've got like about from next week under five weeks. So we really need to make sure that you guys are finished. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. And uh, we'll catch you next week.